One morning, in a forest nearby, Mother Bird announced, Today you fly. The birds lined up in a single line as Little Bird stood nervously behind. For the little bird was afraid to fly. He already thought the nest was too high. How could he possibly soar in the sky? Instead, he just sat and sighed. The other birds told him to close his eyes, but he took one look down and screamed, Oh my, there's no way that I could possibly fly. I can't be a bird no matter how hard I try. As the other birds flew away, Little Bird could hear them say, He's too scared, or he's too shy. You can trust me. You're not going to die. So the little bird tried his best, spread his wings, and leaped from the nest. Flapping while falling, he failed to fly. He landed on the ground and began to cry. Then a mole came around and popped up out of the ground, next to the bird who was feeling down, not making a single stir or sound. The mole asked the bird, What's wrong, little guy? He replied, I'm afraid to fly. Then said the mole, Oh, dry those tears. It's okay to be afraid. We all have fears. For example, I'm a mole, and all I do is crawl underground and eat the gardener's food. I'm always hidden, yet no one knows. I'm scared of long, dark, dirty holes. So you see, it's hard for me to be underground constantly. But then I learned to change my views and did the things I love to do. To make my fears go away, now I plan events at home all day. But you have other gifts and things that no other animal could possibly bring to the world and that is to simply sing. You're more than just a set of wings. We all have talents. We all have a use. It's up to us to gain or lose, to accept or to refuse. The experience in life are ours to choose. So little bird, if you're scared to fly, don't let another day pass by. Lift your voice and lift your head and sing your heart out to the world instead. With motivational words that inspired, little bird's heart was burning like fire. Who learned of desire, hope, and choice, he stood up straight and raised his voice and began to sing his little song and sang and sang all day long. With feathers ruffled and heart of joy, he flapped his wings and screamed, oh boy! Looking down, he didn't forget. He was not ready to fly just yet, but that day on, he kept on trying and taught his family who were flying how to sing from the heart and sing from the soul. But they had all still set the goal to teach Little Bird how to fly, which he tried and tried, but couldn't lie. That flying was something he truly loved. Well, sort of. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I'd like you to give a big, warm Ziggy's welcome to the Little Blue Bird! I woke up at midnight I was craving some food. I went to the kitchen in a French kind of mood. I wanted something unkosher. Thank God I'm no Jew. I reached for the chicken and the ham and swishies too. I got the chicken code on blue. Chicken, chicken, yeah. chicken code on blue. I got the chicken. <coughs> <coughs>